Hello again do-it-yourselfers, Terry Peterman, the internet electrician, and welcome to another one of Terry's tool tips. In this video, I'm going to talk about an extension cord and a three-prong extension cord and should you cut that ground prong off. Stay tuned. All right, so this was a question from a good friend of mine and he wondered why is it bad to cut off that third prong if you don't need it trying to plug into say a two prong outlet or any any situation where you might find that ground prong a nuisance so I've seen them cut off is it a good idea the answer is unequivocally absolutely not do not cut that prong off if you've got an extension cord that it broke off cut that cord and put on a new end, put on a new aftermarket end on it because it's not good. Now, there are two prong devices. There's double insulated hand tools that don't need a ground prong. And to use an extension cord that is only a two prong at both end is fine for that because it's double insulated. Should something go wrong inside the tool, there's going to be no contact, no way you can contact the hot wire from inside that tool and get a shock. So here's what the ground prong does for you. Grounds the circuit. Any metal parts of any device should be grounded and if you don't have a three prong cord like this that's gonna damage or take away that function of that ground. So what the ground does is in a fault situation it's designed to take all the current necessary to ground, safely to ground, and trip the breaker because the breaker is set with fault trip current that when it's a short circuit like that to ground, it's gonna, a whole bunch of current's gonna flow through that breaker and trip it, take away the power. That's a brief explanation. It's a, it's a lot more complicated than that, but that's the basics of it. So if you have a three prong extension cord and you cut that ground wire off, that ground prong, you no longer have a ground and here's a situation where it could be a problem. So let's just use the whiteboard to illustrate why this is a bad situation. So. Let's take an example here. Here's our cord. And this is our cord cap. Hot neutral ground. There it is. I'm not a real good artist, but we'll, we'll see how we do. And this cord is going to be connected to, let's use an example of a table saw. So here's our table saw. Got the blade here. Motor here that's driving the pulley that drives the blade. So you got your hot going through your cord, your neutral going through your cord, and your ground going through. It's connected to the frame of the motor. The motor frame is connected to the table saw, and that's connected to the metal of the table saw itself. So everything's grounded, all good, through here to ground. Now what happens if something goes wrong here in the hot or the neutral or one of the hots, if it's 220 or 240 volt motor, and it happens to break off or somehow comes into contact with either the motor frame or the table saw frame. You pick it. What happens? Well, right away, you're gonna have all this rush of current energizing the table saw, flowing back through your ground rod, tripping the breaker because it's an overcurrent situation and takes away the power source and you're okay, you should be safe. But now somebody comes along and thinks, well, I don't need that ground prong. So they disconnect, they cut it off. You no longer have a path here because this is plugged into an outlet that's properly grounded. So now what happens if this situation happens where one of the hot wires comes in contact with the metal around this table saw or the motor frame? Now this whole table saw becomes energized. Nowhere to go. Right, it's looking for a path to ground, but somebody cut that off, not there. So, what happens? You come along and say, why is my table saw not working? So you got a little smiley face here. I think I'm gonna troubleshoot this, figure out what's going on. And you reach over and say, grab onto the frame of the table saw. Now what happens? Now we got a path right through your arm. If it's through your heart, you're probably gonna be dead into the ground. So there you go. That's why you do not cut off that prong on a cord. 
This is just one example to illustrate how dangerous that can be. So, in conclusion, back to me. Should you cut off the ground prong on an extension cord? No, absolutely not. Someone looks at that cord, it's plugged in, they look at the three prong female end of it, they think, oh, it's got a perfectly good grounded three wire extension cord and you've cut it off, you've defeated the purpose of the ground. So unequivocally, no, do not cut that ground prong off. Thanks for watching. I'm Terry Peterman, your internet electrician. Don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel, Click on that notifications bell. Leave some comments below. Have you done this? Have you cut off a prong? Have you seen one being used that's cut off? Have you ever got a good shock of a metal frame that was not grounded? Thanks again for watching. Until next time.